Serpentine Dominion with their self-titled debut album. I'm going to be honest with you, we're going to do a little TBH prior to this review. I almost missed this. I almost did. Uh, there's been so much that has been released over the past two months, it's really hard to keep all of it straight. I actually thought that this was a, uh, a November release. So, I'm glad that we caught that, I'm glad that we're doing this, and also, for those of you who are just streaming in here who are newbies, you definitely did it because you saw that, you know, Adam from Killswitch Engage and Corpse Grinder uh, from Cannibal Corpses in this band, thanks to the title. Yeah, did that for you guys, that way you understand that you don't want to miss this project. It is a super group, and it's a group that features Adam from Killswitch Engage, George Corpse Grinder Fisher from Cannibal Corpse, Shannon formerly of Black Dahlia Murder, uh, on the skins, he's the skin pounder, the skin destroyer. Sounds like he's masturbating. Sorry. Uh, but also features lyrics that are written by Jesse Leach. So what could possibly go wrong? And the answer to that question, Bubsy, is nothing. Nothing actually went wrong. This is a nine-track, 26 or 27 minute long album. It's one that features no song above the four minute mark until the very final track, This Endless War, which clocks in at four and a half minutes. Most of them hover around two and a half to three. And the style that really could be employed here is melodic death metal. It's traditional death metal. It's sort of a combination of both. It's definitely something that doesn't sound at all like Kill Switch Engage. It does. It has some registers to uh, some things that the Black Dahlia Murder have done in the past here and there compositionally, but it's just sort of it comes with the territory of that genre of music or subgenre or sub subgenre or whatever. Subscribe to me and that's a subgenre right there because I'm a genre of stupid apparently. I don't know. But this is definitely showcased within the first single that we got, which is The Vengeance of Me, where we hear that uh, Corpse Grinder's vocals work really, really well in this style. And he's kind of been in that department every so often, so it's not necessarily news, but it's still nice to see how easily it seems to just fit. It's almost like the perfect puzzle piece. Going into Vanquished Unto Thee and Divide, Conquer, Burn, and Destroy, we learn a little bit more about this band. We learn about some of the cleans that we're going to get from Adam. And also, we're starting to understand that his melodic ripping is definitely one of the cornerstones of what makes this album really a success for these guys. It's something where the strength of the overall writing really boosts up Corpse Grinder and boosts up everybody else around him and gives this album just a very exciting and also very smooth listen. And that's what's kind of nice about it. Really, whenever you consider The Vengeance of Me and The Vanquished Unto Thee, it feels like two songs that deserve to be together, they run together, we could have ourselves right here a five minute song and you wouldn't know the difference. Sovereign Hating on the Brink of Devastation continue that devastating pool and definitely continue to dial up a little bit more of that uh, aggression, a little bit more of that heaviness. It's something where this album feels like it gets heavier as it goes along. And then Jagged Cross Legions kind of throws another curveball. It throws strange, you know, it was, this is a strange decision of Adam quickly singing Jagged Cross Legions in the chorus portion of this track. It just feels a little bit off. Maybe it's just me. But overall, the song itself is pretty well done, so that's a very tiny complaint, so we're just going to sort of ignore that. And then we get into Prelude, and Prelude is kind of like intro. It's, it's an instrumental track that goes into this endless war. So honestly, they probably could have combined those two as well, and it would have been a seven minute long song, and it would have worked just as well, because this endless war really does showcase that uh, Serpent in Dominion has the ability to write a longer song that can keep your attention. It reminds you of a suffocation a little bit. It reminds you a little bit of that old school charm mixed in with a little bit of mellow promise. So it's a nice combination. So we could have had a seven minute song there. We could have had a five minute song with you know tracks two and three. You could even combine the intro uh, in there as well. There's a seven minute track right there. I just made this album one, two, three, four, five, six tracks and same amount of time and it would still kick just as much ass. This is a great album. This is a great debut. This supergroup really delivers. I love the passion and the energy that you get. None of the performances feel like they're dialed in or really just, you know, I can do whatever I want because this is just us fucking around. It doesn't have that feeling whatsoever and that's really appreciated. Sometimes you get that feeling that a bunch of guys are just jamming for fun and quality sometimes is... Um, it's kind of taken on a backseat to quantity or just getting a record out because the schedule is just packed. This is an 86 out of 100. It's a solid debut from a supergroup. Uh, the last time I remember a supergroup kind of wowing me, 
in this quick of a period of time is uh, Killer Be Killed from a couple of years ago. And I'm sure that there's going to be folks in the comments that remind me of others that I was very pleased with. And I do welcome you to do that. Uh, I want to know what you guys think about this disc, this self-titled debut from Serpentine Dominion. Let me know in the comments below. My name is Cover Killer Nation, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more album reviews from 2016, check out the link to your left. If you want to understand why some bands are hated by some fans, check out the Five Reasons series. That's to your right. You can also subscribe to my channel and check out my Patreon. I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care.